This is the Simulation Football League presented by 8PM Music on YouTube. Tonight, we bring you a clash between two of Week 1's victors, but only one will be able to say they went 2-0 to start Season 21. It's the Seattle Nemesis versus the Fort Worth Toros. Had a field day in that initial that inaugural convention week here. A lot of games, huge numbers, so they're going to look at focusing on stopping the run. From near midfield, Bacon third call, stiff arm, still going as Bacon near sideline, inside the 30, and bulldozing another one for extra yards. Jay-Z Bacon picking up right where he left off in week one. From near the left, hash, snap, spot, kick is up, and it sneaks through the uprights, and good. Three wide here on first down. Dunhill gonna look middle, and he throws oh! away! Intercepted by Matthias Citrion! Second career interception for Citrion as the Nemesis will take over and immediately back to the air and Truth this time will haul it in without any trouble. After getting the ball back on Citrion's interception. Trips near side, attack rolling left. Looking middle, it is hauled in by John Fullerton, the former Toro, gets a catch inside the red zone. Will they snap it before the end of the quarter? They will, final play, handoff, Scott near side, and she will trot her way into the end zone. Touchdown, Nemesis! And great job from every player of the Nemesis offense. Brand new set of downs here for Fort Worth from their own 47. Number 47, that's Bacon, out of another tackle and still going, oh, man. shoulders on in at the 35, and he's off to the races, inside the 10, 5, touchdown, Toros, a beautiful run from Jay-Z Bacon, helped by his blockers, and the Toros retake the lead. He will roll right, looking over the middle, that is caught. Run up the middle, Scott has about five yards, more than what she needed. Yeah, and you heard you heard me just in the back screen, in, in, in the back behind Tyler here, just got stuck, Blue Scott did, and again, Fort Worth makes a critical stop and forces possibly three out of six here. Ronald Suey's kick is up and good. Just a few yards away from 11. Thousand in his illustrious career as Bacon gets the call, puts one on the turf, another one goes down. Still oh, going, ow. as Bacon, how did he stay in bounds? And fighting off Kanan down the sideline, Bacon is gone again! Touchdown, Fort Worth! I, I, again, I was going to bring up the fact that Seattle's had so many long, elaborate plays in this game. They've had 30 plays so far in this first half. For Fort Worth, 16 points in 15 plays. They know how to get points in efficient ways, and it's from plays like this. How did Jay-Z Bacon stay away from the out-of-bounds sideline, stay in bounds, and get to the end zone? Great agility, great elusiveness, power, speed, you name it. Another pass, right side floated over the defenders beautifully to Fox Highwind. Five to go on the play clock. They will snap it. Attack rolling. Has to get rid of it and does. One-handed catch from Highwind. And he will be dragged down near the five-yard line. A beautiful pitch and catch from Patek to Highwind. And it's first and goal, Nemesis. And slinging the rock when men called upon. Blitz coming. Pass middle. Caught. Touchdown, Christian Bacigalupe. That was only the fourth attempted pass of the night for Dunhill. Uh -oh. Oh. Bacon uh -oh. fumble the football, and Aaron Stein falls on it for Seattle. Forget Ben Stein's money. How about Aaron Stein's fumble recovery? Seattle once again taking advantage of the opportunity at hand. Great pursuing tackle. Um, yeah, Patak needs to you know stay composed here in this situation and try to throw a slick rock to one of his receivers. Attack and a roll, looking, end zone, one hit oh. it! Tata Queen, 
The woman in motion near side. Blitz coming. Patak dumps it underneath. Caught by the Queen. Touchdown, Seattle. And they do take advantage of, of the fumble. And they equal it with points. Play action again. Dunhill with much more time this time. And he'll connect with his receiver, Cade Stevens, for a first down. From the Toros offense, Dunhill to throw. It's been a lot more throwing from him to begin this second half as he will find Steven Hacker for another Toro first down. And so a potential small victory here for Seattle as the, that, the three field goal is snap spot, kick is up and good. And the Seattle Nemesis survive that drive as the only game three instead of seven. They've been the main proprietors of the tackling game. Roll out right, Patak across his body, and it's picked up from across his body too many times and taken away. Adam Leach with the interception. As the Torals will set up shop on their own 40 yard line. Still only down by four as Dunhill will let to throw deep bomb over the middle. There's the Cowboy, and there's the first down. Three minutes to go, Blitz coming, pass right side, open is Cade Stevens, turns the field, beautiful turn, and he'll pick up the first down yardage. They're really stacking the box now on defense. They go with Bacon right side, a weaker part of that defense, and it shows as Bacon, oh. he goes his one, and he's in for his third touchdown of the ball game as the Toros retake the lead. And off for Blue Scott near side with blockers in front of her and Sky with a decent run near the 30 yard line of Fort Worth. And now this offense's machine continues to hum. Lots of producers on that Fort Worth defense. Five man rush, Patak looking deep down, wow. caught! Fox Highland inside the 10 and they're knocking on the door. Look at Patak's numbers, a solid day through the air. Just a couple of mistakes, and that being the one interception. Blitz coming from Fort Worth on first and goal. Uh -oh. And down he goes! Our first sack of the ball game. Seven and a half to go. All that Seattle needs is a field goal. Don't want to try forcing anything here. Corner route. Cut! Wow. Touchdown! Forget everything I just said. The Queen is in the back of the end zone. Seattle, this leapfrog game continues as they jump out back in front. You talk about gutsy performances in this game here. I talked earlier about erratic throws from Patak that ends up being a little bit risky, basically forcing Fort Worth's hand to throw the football. Girls have been iffy on third down, only two of five. Can they convert here? Dunhill, middle, caught. That brings them back to 50% and keeps the drive alive. Need to get beyond the 21 yard line to keep the chains moving. Play action, blitz coming. Dunhill with time, looking left side. It is oh! incomplete, but taken out of the picture was Cade Stevens by Doug Day, and they will call it a pass interference on Doug Day. First oh. down, Toros. It'll be a play action. Dunhill looking middle, it is caught. Touchdown, Cade Stevens, the man who got blasted out of the picture on the pass interference call, comes away with a touchdown. Heavy look out of the nemesis, a more composed 4-3 look out of Fort Worth, looking to play coverage, attack, deep shot, middle, tried to hit Truth and could not. Ball falls incomplete, and it's a turnover on downs. As they will be on the road in two weeks time, they get a bye week next week, but in two weeks' time, they will play Tulsa in a Monday night Cam and Paul spectacular on August 21st at 8.15 p.m. Eastern. And meanwhile, Seattle will lick their wounds. Next week, they'll be back at home as they will take on the Arizona Scorpions as the clock hits triple zeros. And that's it. That's your ball game. It's Fort Worth 34, Seattle 31. What a ball game, partner.